Across the nation, across the world, disasters are inflicting an increasing toll on our society. Climate change is driving much of the increased risk, but not all of it. We have, for many decades, increased our collective investment in homes and businesses in areas that are increasingly vulnerable to natural hazards, sea coasts and floodplains, areas subject to wildfire hazards, and areas of geologic instability. These development patterns have put millions of lives at risk, and climate change is upping the ante. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration produces an annual record of all U.S. disasters that cost more than $1 billion in damages, adjusted for inflation. In 2021, we experienced 20 such disasters spread across the entire nation, costing more than $145 billion. But those numbers have grown steadily over the last four decades, with three of the most expensive years occurring since 2017. Clearly, according to many disaster experts, this trend is unsustainable both economically and in terms of the burdens of rebuilding after past mistakes. But there are answers. Creative answers made possible by thoughtful and forward-looking planning focused on addressing the sizable challenges facing our communities. There's no finger pointing here. It's a matter of resources and funding. And I have to say, in my experience, there has been little communication and education with residents about recovery. Not all, but several of the communities have responded saying our most effective thing is when we started inviting insurance guys around with us because even though they turn us off because we're the government, they understand that you know the one thing you don't want is a premium increase, but the one thing you really don't want is to find that you're not covered. There were people in that community that really were still, I'll just say, in denial that there was a risk. It's that we have curbs and gutters and sidewalks and street lights and my neighbor is literally three feet away from me. How could I have a wildfire risk? Even though emergency management in that county has talked about flooding, they've done activities to have uh, community sandbag filling days and instructions on how to build and stack the sandbags around your home. Last summer, as soon as the fire was out, there could have been some media, and maybe there was, and I'm just not aware of it, but that this is the next thing to expect. The fire's out, right. mm -hmm. but here's the next thing that you're gonna have to deal with. And there's this. no vegetation left to absorb all that water. Exactly. Right. Hazard Mitigation and Disaster Recovery Planning Division of the American Planning Association produced this film to highlight some of the most effective efforts to turn the tide of disaster losses and foster more resilient communities that can thrive in the face of climate change and natural hazards. Join us not only on a journey through the stories in this film, but on a mission to create more adaptive towns, cities, and states across America.